You're listening to the Wits Max show. I'm Vidhi Makwana and I'll teach you the no fluff way to get your service based business fully sold out without needing thousands of Instagram followers, pay for ads or any coaching or niche certificates. Wondering how that's possible? I've done it and multiple of my clients have too and now I'm here to show you how you can too. Listen on to find out how. Do you question your content after posting it? I want to start with this because this might be the biggest blind spot in your content right now. So you've posted your content, you know that, oh my God, this is educational. This, you know that the value is in there if it's educational. You know that the social proof is so good if it's a social proof content or if it's a problem awareness content, you know that this is so good, right? You know all of it, like you don't believe in that. But when it comes to pitching your offer, when it comes to talking about your offer, you question yourself. And after posting that as well, you keep questioning yourself. Was it good enough? Did I say the right words? Did I actually put in the right things? Or should I have said this or that? Should I change that? If you're questioning this, this is the biggest blind spot. And your audience can actually smell that uncertainty through your content. And that is why they wouldn't buy, right? So if you've been selling your high ticket offer for a long time, let's say, talking about it for weeks, but people aren't inquiring. This uncertainty is why. This is a mindset thing. So strategy is one thing, but this is the mindset piece. So let me show you, and this is like a biggest aha moment. Let me tell you that the reason why you're questioning this is because you don't know your content. You don't know your content. And this is where I always say that mindset can be solved by strategy as well. I mean, the surface level mindset problems can be solved by strategy. When you get the strategy right, your mindset would be right like this, right? So the thing here is that if you are questioning your content after posting it, you are like, did I say the right thing? Or are people going to inquire about this? The reason is because you don't know your content. Like you know your content in a way that you know that your expertise is there. You know that um, the insider content when it comes to giving the value, when it comes, comes to giving the aha moments and all of that, all of that is perfect. You believe in that, right? Because you believe in your offer as well, let's say. You believe in your offer, but the gap is that when it comes to talking about your offer, when it comes to pitching your offer, you question yourself. Did I say the right thing? Should I have said this word or that, that word? That That is the problem, right? And that is because you don't know how to do all of this. And there is a process behind all of this. There is a process behind all of this. Okay, so how to talk about your content. Let me show you a little bit of gap inside your content, especially when it comes to connecting the good value that you're posting in your content to before going into selling your offer, before pitching. So when you connect this to this, there's a problem with the connection, right? And that is what is actually lacking through your content, right? So let me show you where are the gaps in your content in different content types that you're sharing which is why it's not bringing the inquiries and the sales that you want. So the first thing, let's say you're sharing educational content. After reading that, does your audience still feel like they want more? Do they still feel like they want more? Are you able to build a gap even after giving so much value in your educational content? If that is not happening, obviously your audience is not activated and they wouldn't join your offer because they got everything. They would feel like, oh my God, this is good. I'm going to save it. You get the sales, but you don't get the sales. This is why, because there's no gap that you're building. And there's a process for building this gap that I teach you inside the Copy to Cash Academy. So that is one thing. Second type of content, let's say you're sharing social proof, right? You're sharing, sharing social proof. So all of the, like the social proof is so good. You know that, right? You know that the clients that, that work with you, they really get good results, right? But bringing in new clients is hard, right? And the reason is like you have all of it. You have the social proof. You have the um, educational content. You have really good, like you... Maybe you've al already nailed your messaging as well, but the content is not working. When it comes to social proof, what gap 
there is is that your audience, even after going through that social proof, your audience doesn't feel activated after reading that content, after re going through that social proof. And you get like comments from um, competitors or something like that. And they just say, congratulations, that is such a good one and all of that, but no inquiries. The reason is because you don't know how to activate them after sharing that social proof. Like all of it is good. So you're giving the context, you are giving the value in there. Like these are the five steps that we took together and all of it. All of that is so good, but then you don't know how to activate them after that. So when it comes to connecting it to your offer and pitching the offer, actually, there is a gap. And there is a process for this as well. There's a process for everything, <laughs> okay, that I teach you inside the Copy to Cash Academy. Um, second thing, um, third thing, the third content idea that you might be sharing content type is let's say you're sharing some kind of problem awareness content and you know that this is such a good aha moment, right? And I'm sharing it, but after reading that, does your audience feel more inclined towards you over other competitor? Do they actually start seeing you as an authority? Does all of this happen? If that is not happening, the problem is not your actual content ideas that you're coming up with, not your price, not your offer. You don't need to add or change anything in your offer. You don't need to lower your prices. It's not your prices as well. The problem is that you don't know how to actually write the copy after the expertise that you're good at. So you're sharing the expertise. Obviously, your content is based on your expertise, right? So you're sharing educational content, you're sharing social proof, you're sharing problem awareness, and you're good at that, right? Hi, you're good at all of that. But after that, when it comes to connecting it to your offer and then pitching your offer, that is where the gap is. So you don't know how to create that kind of content, how to write that copy that builds that gap in your audience and they feel like, yes, I want to work with you. That activates them to feel like, yes, I just want to join your offer right now, right? That is what I teach you inside the Copy to Cash Academy. So ab about all of these things, if you're sharing educational content and people are not seeing a gap, they, they are not leaving your content with feeling like I want more, if you're sharing social proof content and your audience is still not feeling activated by that, if you're sharing, if you're sharing, so I think um, it paused a little bit. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> so if you're sharing social proof content and your audience is not feeling activated after reading through that social proof, if you're sharing, let's say, problem awareness content and your audience gets the aha moment but they don't see you as an authority after that and feel like i want to work with you over everyone else if all of this is not happening if you're like yes i'm sharing all of these content types but i'm not sure this is happening i'm not sure or i don't know if this is happening but you know that inquiries are not coming in the reason is that your content is not working. Not that your actual content, your expertise content is working. The copy that you're writing about your expertise is working. But what is not working is the copy that you write after that, which makes a huge difference, which I teach you inside the Copy to Cash Academy. So there is a process behind all of this. I give you formulas, templates, scripts, not scripts, actually. I don't give you the scripts because scripts actually make you sound robotic and it will not work for every niche. So every single thing that I give you inside the Copy to Cash Academy, it really is like, this is why I call it Copy to Cash Academy instead of being like, it's not a content program because I'm not just creating, I'm not just sharing with you. These are the types of content that you should be creating and okay, bye-bye. That is, that is a typical content program, which is why I say that this is not a content program and it's a copy program because I teach you exactly what to write, like what copy will get people activated, what copy will get people to see why you, what copy will get people to understand that they want more from you even after reading your educational content, right? This is something that I've mastered and I want to show you how to do that as well so that every time you pitch, every time you create content, and this is not just limited to Instagram posts. This is also about something, this is something that you can use everywhere. So you can use it in your 
in your posts, in your stories, in your emails, every single place. And I also give you copy starters so that if you feel like, I know I want to say something like this, but I don't know how to start the words. What words should I start with, right? Or I know I have the bullet points, but I don't know what to say before that or something like that. Something like that, all of that has copy starters. So how to hold their attention, how to build authority inside your content. So copy for all of this, copy starters for all of this. Like that is why I call it Copy to Cash Academy because it's actually about the copy, which makes a huge difference than just about the content, right? So I go so much more in depth than being than any other content program. And that is why it's not a content program. That is why I say this is not a content program. So I really highly recommend that you join Copy to Cash Academy. There are last three days left for you to join Copy to Cash Academy before it before the doors close. And it will give you every single thing that you need to actually make your content so much more power powerful that your content sells out your offer without you being on sales calls all day long or without you doing lead generation, talking to 100 people at the same time in the DMs, busting your ass off. We are not doing that, right? So that is what Copy to Cash is. If you want to make your content powerful, if you want to make your life and your business easier by mastering the content and the copy and the messaging of your offer, that is what we teach inside the Copy to Cash Academy. I highly recommend that you join Copy to Cash Academy. You can send me a DM saying content and I will give you all of the details. I'll answer all of your questions. If you feel like I have a few questions or if you feel like I just um, want to decide whether or not this is the right thing for me, I'll help you with all of that. I do not pitch inside the DMs, okay? So if you come to me, I'll help you without thinking about whether or not this is going to profit me Beyond that, I would look at whether or not this is helpful for you. And I'm known for that <laughs> when it comes to my clients. So um, this that is it. You can send me the DM content for joining Copy to Cash Academy and I'll send you the link to join as well. So that is it. I hope that this gives you a little bit of aha moment around why your content isn't working. It's not about your expertise. It's not about your price. It's not about your offer. What it is, is about what you write after that expertise content inside the same content. So maybe you're creating carousels, maybe you're creating reels, whatever you're doing before you go into pitching, what are you saying over there? That is where the problem is. And when you master this, I am sure you wouldn't be second guessing. You wouldn't be second guessing, did I say the right thing? <laughs> did I say, because that, when you have the strategy, your mindset would get right. That is how I work with mindset most of the times, right? Especially the surface level things. So that is the thing. And I highly recommend that you join Copy to Cash Academy. Send me a DM content if you are like, yes, I want to, I, I feel a pull towards the software. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you.